Um, so uh, I just have a, a brief presentation here. I believe my partner, uh, Sherry Antoine is, is here. And so please, Sherry, feel free to jump in. Uh, we just put this together uh, pretty last minute. Um, so we're gonna be having a session tomorrow around News on Wiki. Uh, it's a edit-a-thon session from two to 4 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, we'd love for you to join in with us. Uh, but what I wanted to do here is kind of give a, a bit of a view of like the, pro the, the issue that kind of gives this work some importance. So this page you see on your screen, Red House, Red House Eviction Defense, is possibly something you've seen in the news in the last few days. Uh, here in Portland, where I live, this is a, um, it's a site where there's a uh, uh, African-American family is in the process of an eviction. And so there's been a protest around it. And there's a standoff that very suddenly exploded into the national news. Um, and so in this particular case, this, there's, there's only one thorough news report that I'm aware of about this situation that predated this week that was from last month, um, where a, a black owned newspaper, a local black owned newspaper called the Portland Observer covered the story in some depth. And when something like this is really is evolving quickly um, and people all over the country are hearing about it, there's a lot of interest, there's a lot of legitimate interest in whether they're hearing news from legitimate sources or not. So whether they're a Wikipedia editor or just a, you know, a regular person who sees something in their social media feed, if they see a story in the Portland Observer, they've never heard of the Portland Observer before, they're gonna to wanna to know what it is. So probably what they're gonna do is a web search on it. And so in this case here, we've got the, this is actually a DuckDuckGo search, but this is true of Google or Bing or pretty much any, uh, any web search engine. On the right-hand side, you will often see an info box or a knowledge panel uh, that kind of gives you a summary of it. So it's independent of, it's, it's not the website itself over here on the left. It's, it's something that you know, presents uh, factual information and can kind of help ground someone in like, is this a real newspaper? What is this thing I'm looking at? And if you notice, its source is Wikipedia. So generally speaking, whether or not Wikipedia has an article on something, especially a newspaper, is going to impact whether or not a search engine displays that information, which really has a tremendous amount of reach beyond even just Wikipedia's reach. The reach of, of search engine results is pretty tremendous. So in this case, the Portland Observer, we've had an article on Wikipedia since 2016. It's not the longest or more, most in-depth article that you've ever seen, but it is pretty well sourced. It's got nine independent references. Uh, they're all footnoted, they're linked. So if someone's really interested in digging into it, they can get into that pretty, pretty easily. Uh, they also might see as they're looking at it, you know, they might have noticed the name of the author of the article and they might see, oh yeah, that's the editor of the paper. So it's not just some freelancer, it's actually, you know, someone who's, who's pretty deeply connected with the paper. So it's really gonna help someone make that quick assessment of like, is this worth reading? Is this something that I should consider reliable? Um, so our campaign, News on Wiki, is to write many, many articles about local papers that are sort of at this scale. We're not looking to write the best, most thorough articles. We're trying to get a foothold on Wikipedia for a lot of local newspapers. In this phase of it, which runs through February, we're really trying to focus on Black-owned newspapers, uh, also newspapers based in the state of Washington, and newspapers with a focus on the Caribbean. So we came up with three uh, sort of different areas of kinds of newspapers to focus on. Uh, so that we can really dig down in those areas. But of course, we're, we're interested in working with anyone who wants to work on local papers, even if they don't fit into those, uh, those exact buckets. Um, one of the things that's been really, uh, really helpful to us is working with university uh, professors to make a Wikipedia assignment in their class. So one that we worked with, uh, just in the last couple of weeks, we've worked with uh, a professor at uh, New York University's Los Angeles campus. Uh, and also with Christy Roschke, who is uh, at Arizona State University. So I've got a couple quick examples uh, from Christy Roschke's class. Uh, this here is the New York Beacon. This is a brand new article that one of her students created. So as you can see, it's, it's really well on its way, um, gives some good solid information to start with. And as you can imagine over time, uh, other, now that this article exists, other Wikipedians, other people are going to happen across it and they're going to find something else they can add to it. So what we often see with something like this is, yeah, it starts with just four footnotes, but in a few months that could easily be six or eight footnotes. You know, it could easily be like a, 
uh, eight or 10 paragraph article, start to develop a history section, things like that. So just by starting it is often a really good way to stimulate it growing into something bigger. Uh, and another example also from one of Christie's students is the Dallas Post Tribune. This one is the largest black owned newspaper in Northern Texas. So it's kind of crazy to me that, um, you know, that a newspaper of this scale, you know, it was founded in 1947. It's been around for a good long time. There were plenty of independent references available just even to do a basic article like this, but there wasn't even a Wikipedia article about it. Uh, so now there is. So again, if, we, if you'd like to join in this kind of work, uh, please join our session tomorrow. This is our homepage on, on Wiki. You can also just sign up, add your name to our list of participants and, uh, and kind of read through to get a sense of how we're doing this. One last thing I wanted to just briefly mention too is that Wikidata is a huge part of what we do. Um, and this is one of the reasons for it. This is a map of the state of Washington. This is a map that's based off of Wikidata and it shows us where there are newspapers that, so basically every point on this map is a newspaper that Wikidata knows about and every green or yellow point is one that has a Wikipedia article. And so this is one of the ways that we're able to track our progress and kind of you know, keep track of all the, the different articles. So um, there's plenty of maintenance work to do on Wikidata as well that kind of meshes with how things go on Wikipedia. Um, Sherry, I'm not sure if you made it into the call. Are you here? Do you want to add any words? Well, I think you're, we're pretty much at time. For at time, OK. Talk. So, oh. um, but thank you very much for that, Pete. And thank you. Uh, yeah, awesome. I'm looking forward to the work tomorrow. Um, All right.